First off, we need to collect it all together, and that's easy enough. Across the bottom of the hull, there are loads of ballast tanks. Normally, you would fill them with seawater to add weight into the bottom of the ship, simply for stability reasons. More weight down low generally means a more stable ship. But actually, that weight doesn't need to be seawater. You can just as easily fill them with the wastewater that you produce on board. Saying that, you don't just pick a random tank and collect all the wastewater together. In much the same way as you separate paper and metals in household recycling, we separate wastewater on board. We actually use two categories, grey water and black water. The difference between the two is in the bacteria that's present in each. Black water, which is waste from mainly toilets, has come into contact with solid waste and contains far more harmful components. Grey water, on the other hand, is things like wastewater from showers and laundries. It's the sort of water that some environmentally friendly homes would collect and reuse. For example, when you're flushing toilets with old bath water and things like that. So, now you have a tank rapidly filling up with black water, or raw sewage as it's commonly known. What on earth can you actually do with it? On shore it all goes to sewage treatment plants, and actually on a ship the exact same thing happens, albeit on a slightly smaller scale. Down in the engine room you'll actually find a full-blown sewage treatment facility. 